Yes, the heart of the Father. He, he reaches out to us. He tries to draw us in with his love. His grace is enough for everyone. Our story for today is a story that we have told before during some of our Sabbath school time. It is about a trapper who was leaving his house one day. He was trying to get to town so he could lay in his winter supplies that he knew he was going to need. As he left his house, he looked up. The skies were fairly clear. He thought to himself, I got plenty of time. So he started on the 15-mile hike to town. Well, when he got about halfway to town, it started to cloud up, and he realized it was going to come a major snowstorm. And then he realized that he was going to have to start moving quicker, that it would be easier to go on down the mountain to the town than it would be to get back up the hill because he also knew that if it was a truly major storm, he wasn't going to have enough supplies laid in. Well, as he started walking on further and walking faster, it started to snow. And within minutes, the ground was covered. Within a few more minutes, not only was the ground covered, but the trail that he normally knew by like the back of his hand was no longer to be seen. He kept moving faster and moving faster. And the snow kept coming harder and harder. And it finally got to almost a complete whiteout condition. And he knew that if he didn't find town quickly, he was going to freeze to death. Well, about that time, he suddenly come upon a set of snowshoe tracks. He realized, hey, I can follow the tracks. I must be near town. Well, he started walking. He started following the tracks. And the snow was still coming down almost to a whiteout condition. All of a sudden, he come back around. And he realized now there was two sets of tracks. And then it hit the trapper. He was walking in circles. He'd been following his own tracks. It was then that he finally realized, I didn't pray before I left the house. I need to be talking to God. And he knelt down in the snow. And he started praying, Father, help me. I am lost. I know not where to go. I did not seek your guidance before I left my house today. Father, if you do not help me, I'm going to perish in this snow. Please, show me the right way to town. All I need is just a little light. Just show me a little light, and I'll be able to get home safely. I'll be able to get to town safely. Just get me someplace safe, Father. Well, he got up, and he started walking. Five minutes later, the snowstorm started easing up. Ten minutes later, the snowstorm had completely stopped. That's when the man realized he was less than a half a mile away from the town that he'd been trying to get to. That's when he seen the light in the distance. He did not realize it. He'd been walking in circles for so long that it had grown dark, and the sun was actually setting, but he could see the light of that town in the distance and he knew he was safe. Right then and there, he knelt back down, and he gave thanks to God for leading him to the safe place that he needed to be. Today, we ourselves, do we speak to God as a friend? Do we speak to God as a father? Do we remember to ask God for guidance before we start out on our treks, on our missions, or whatever else we're doing that day? If not, we need to remember, stop, ask for guidance, and remember at the end of the day to look up and say, thank you, Lord, I know that was you. Our next song is Thank You for Your Blessings. This is by the Redeemed Quartet. We hope you enjoy this song. 